I'm Karen Iden. I'm the director of the Teens and Twenties Young Cryonesis Organization. We've had the encouraging news that more and more young people are showing a curiosity in cryonics. This is interesting because, it, as it turns out, young people are showing a greater interest than older people. So this video today is going out specifically to these young individuals. I'm here today with Dr. Bob Newport and Kim Suozzi. Kim is 23 and has been given a remaining life expectancy measured in months. At the age of 21, Kim received the shocking news that she had a brain tumor with a zero survival rate. Bob, would you like to ask Kim some questions? I sure would. Kim, first of all, welcome to the Elcor Life Extension Foundation, a member of our community, and we're here in the Elcor Patient Storage Bay, a place where Kim is likely to be spending a number of decades, though we hope not. Kim, I understand that you have been interested in neurosciences and cryonics for some time before you became ill. Could you tell us what prompted that interest? Um, yeah, I've always been interested in neuroscience um, since my freshman year of college. And um, I got degrees in, in uh, psychology and linguistics. And my sophomore year of college, I was enrolled in the class called Cognitive Neuroscience where I read um, a book called The Age of Spiritual Machines by Ray Kurzweil, and that got me interested in futurism and transhumanism and AI and cryonics a little bit, but mostly um, futurism, and I found that very interesting. Now tell me this, before you became ill, did you have any inkling at all that you were going to need this service? Um, unfortunately, no, I had waited I was planning on, kind of in the back of my head, I had planned on signing up maybe after grad school after I had my feet on the ground, but I did not know. It caught me, caught me totally off guard. So death was just not in your awareness. The possibility of it was not in your awareness. No, like many young people, I wasn't thinking about death at all. Like many young people, and yet here we are face to face with it. Mm -hmm. From your personal experience now, what would you say to young people to prompt their becoming interested and active? Well, um, it's, it's not that expensive if you sign up early and you have life insurance. Um, and in terms of being, becoming interested in it, um, you, you really have, um, sorry, I don't know what to say. In my youth, I was interested in big questions like religion and God and yeah, yeah. death and life and that sort of thing. Yeah, I think that that, that kind of that interest in, in death and life comes young, comes as soon as um, middle school or high school when people start to really think about it. And then they tend to, by the time they're 30 or 40, kind of close off and become less close or more close minded about it. And I think. Once you know that that's out there and know maybe that it's an option, then, then people will think about it more crit critically. And what are the practical reasons for young people to become involved? Um, well, like I said, the life insurance is one, and um, you never know what's going to happen to you. You just, unfortunately, you don't. In your own system of beliefs, Kim, is there any contradiction or conflict with your religious beliefs? Um, I am agnostic, and I don't, I don't think that anything happens, or I don't suspect that anything happens when you die or uh, when you're cry preserved. But um, so all it is is all, all it's doing is increasing my chances for survival. But I think that if you're religious in in, any, in most ways. Um, you're Christian or Jewish or Hindu or anything, um, it it doesn't run counter to cryonics. I mean, God says that He wants to for you to live as long as you can in His name. So I see that as a way of sharing that belief. So there are no no real contradictions with with religion or any belief you might have, or if you don't have them. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Kim, we're one, we're very glad to have you a member of our community, and not so glad to think that you may be residing here for a long time. There are several of us in this room that may be joining you, and 
So welcome aboard and thank you so much for this interview. Thank you.